Hello everyone, so now we're going to be recording another video and it's how to start up the A330 this was requested by some people we'll be doing another video later on how to use the printer which is this um, thing in a plane so what we'll do is you go ahead and hit control 8 then we will click there, there. So we'll turn on these two batteries. Then I'll turn on the external power. Then I will come along here and align this. And where this says on bat, you want to wait for it to go off. Then we'll flip the next one. And then we'll flip the next one. Then what we'll come along here and do is we'll hit this button which is crew supply which turns on their oxygen supply and then the emergency exit signs I'll turn to arm. I'll turn on no smoking and I'll turn the beacon light. Then just imagine that you've got passengers on already then you'll turn on the seatbelt sign if you want, you can turn up the brightness of your panel, but I generally don't like doing that. I just turn it up a bit like that. Then all your screens should be started. Then if you're in the A330-900neo, like I'm in, what you can do is um, you'll turn on the iPad. And then you'll go on company and if you use Simbrief, you put in your username after you've made your flight plan and click from Simbrief. And you can performance and sync the current altitude. It should be, there you go, we're currently 340 feet, which it says on there. Then if you use VATSIM, obviously you know how to do everything. So you put in your frequency, which is on there, which this one changes the number. Then the bottom one changes the first one. Then you change it to the active. Like I said, uh, a bit later I will make a video on how to use this printer. Which in also includes the MCDU. Which I say I'm a good pilot. But I still don't know how to use it. And I really need to learn it. Because it's quite important. Anyway. I'm just going to turn up the brightness. And... There you go. There you go. Now we have seatbelt signs and no smoking on. Then I'm going to come along here now and turn off all the fuel pumps. And all these lights have now gone out. And then I'm going to turn on the APU. That just changed something. I'll turn emergency exit signs on and turn the nose line onto taxi. Nav lights. I'm just going to turn all the lights on now for me. There you go, everything's on. See, now the APU should be starting up. Ooh. You don't want to turn the camera too quickly, or otherwise your game starts to stutter like that. So we'll go on to the Control 8 panel again. And then we'll turn on the APU bleed. Then that should come on like that. Then... As you'll get pushed back, you'll change the engine mode selector onto ignition start. Like that. So this little button. Then you'll get pushed back. Like that. And then you'll turn the right engine button onto that. 
and then the left. Then as you will do that you'll check your screens like here. And then you'll hear that sound as the engine's starting up. In case you're wondering, this aircraft, which I've said look, a couple of times now, is the Airbus A330-900neo. It's just been re released early. Well, not released early, but it's quite a new plane, so it's not going to be the best for working and stuff. Okay, so I'm going to stop my pushback and put the parking brake on, which is this one. And as the engine's now started, you will turn. And we're going to take off runway 15 here at, at Birmingham Airport. And the airport code is Echo Golf Bravo Bravo. And then, after we've done that, we'll turn the mode selector back to normal and turn off the APU bleed. Every time something hits me there. Oh, that beeping's gonna get on. That beeping's gonna annoy a few people. Okay. So what we'll do now, as we're just waiting, so we'll put the spoilers, also known as the speed brakes, up onto arm like that. Then you'll come along here and uh, press this button, which is the auto brake onto max. This won't be the longest of videos because obviously it's just going to be a quick tutorial on how to start the plane. And it was very quick. Very. So as we've done that, then you'll make sure. See, if you ever want a good centre line, this little screw here, make sure it's in line with the taxiway. And then you should be on a good centre line. So um, we're just going to get ready for takeoff now, which I'm obviously not going to take off in this video, but I was just doing a quick... And um, 
I'm just not going to take. But then what you do here is you put your parking brake on and stop. I went over a bit, just a bit. <laughs> and then you get ATC clearance, which actually we should probably... Then, as it says on this red screen, you put uh, flaps like that. Oh, wait, no. There you go. And there you go, we'd get centre line like that. Well, that's pretty much centre line. Then you start rolling and take off. Then you engage autopilot and you listen to ATC and land. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. Have a good rest of your day and I hope this helps you start up the plane if you're flying this on like X-Plane or Microsoft Flight Simulator. Anyway, goodbye.